Welcome everyone to Apex Traveler 9445. And I want to touch on things that brothers need to be aware of when visiting Kenya. I know many of you see the name of the title of this video is called Scopamine in Kenya. Now, I'm not sure if it's the same Scopamine that they use down there in Medellin, Colombia. I've never been to Colombia, but I heard many stories that, that that's went viral about brothers getting scoped and robbed down there in Medellin, Colombia, and some never making it back to the USA to their families. But I wanna give brothers an awareness, you know, when visiting Kenya. I had Kenyan women tell me that uh, women do drug men and rob them there in Kenya. So brothers who like to do pay for play, be careful of the women that you go to Kenya to deal with. I know a lot of YouTubers uh, paint a picture of Kenya like it's just a safe haven place with no worries, feminine women, etc. But the feminine part, women are more feminine than what we are used to in America. I had to realize that. I said, okay, these women can be feminine, not just speaking on Kenya, but in general. I'm pretty sure brothers who well travel can attest to this. Women can be feminine and you can be sidetracked by their feminine ways. You're like, okay, she's soft-spoken, caring, welcoming, etc. But she can have a whole, another thing on her mind. This is why when women do these things, it makes you wonder like whether she asks you for money uh, before she leaves or whatever that could be done to you. It makes you wonder, okay, was all the laughs fake? You know, the uh, the soft giggles, you know, the feminine voice, you know, uh, the cuddling, the holding hands, all these things is what we are not used to in the States. So we can easily be, uh, I'm going to say, finessed by these type of women. Now, I'm not saying all women in Kenya do this. And I'm not saying it's, it's as widespread as meddling in Colombia. But Kenya women have told me that women do that there as well. So I'm pretty sure brothers who are well-traveled or been to Kenya for a long time or have conversed with uh, a lot of Kenyan women, they can attest that uh, they have heard these stories as well. So, yeah, so just be careful when traveling to these countries and dealing with multiple women because they may not have your best interest at heart. So when paying for consultations from brothers online, you know, you may not be getting the full story about what's really going on in these type of countries, you know, like I say, you have culture, then you have the subculture that's up under that. Meaning these are the things that you don't see until you really hit the ground and, and really tap into the people, the local people, to know how uh, things are really done there. You know, don't don't get sidetracked by a certain face, certain body, shape, etc. And last but not least, don't feel like in Kenya, don't feel like you're the special guy there. You know. There's a lot of Kenya is a country where a lot of foreigners come to a lot of people from across Africa come to a lot of Europeans come there as well. So you have to realize, OK, you're not special until y'all two make it official and you lock in with the family, etc. Because other than that, as soon as you leave, a German guy can come behind you behind a German guy. A guy from France can come behind him. So you just never know what the woman could be doing there. So be careful, brother. Always keep your head on the guillotine. You know, uh, play it safe. Uh, you know, definitely get placed with security there. You know, kind of like how brother be doing in Medellin. You know, you might get a security guard a tip, buy him some KFC. Cause KFC is like a, um, I don't want to say like a high class meal, but it's like, you know, it's like to us KFC is nothing, but over there it's like it still have like status. Like you can still go there on a date, and the woman not, you know, it's, it's not looked down upon. So. You know, and um, but most women that I that I had uh, dealt with there, they don't do it. They didn't did it. They didn't do it. But I was aware, like you know, I was on point. Like, okay, what just happened? You know, but I don't drink alcohol. You know, I don't smoke. I don't do any any of those things. So for the most part, uh, you know, I'm good. You know, but uh, you know, you never know what a woman can do. Uh, you know, while you sleep as well. So. So yeah, though, but your brother, be careful out there in Kenya. It's a beautiful country, you know, a lot of things to do, a lot of greenery. Uh, you know, the people are welcoming, you know, they do make you feel at home. And uh, But don't get caught up and feeling, you know, they will make you feel like a celebrity. You know, in Kenya, they'll make, Kenyans will make you feel like you're a celebrity there. So that's why a lot of brothers can go there 
and, and, and become blinded on things that, on the reality of things because you, you get to, you feel like you're on a pedestal there. So some of the YouTubers, you know, they have y'all thinking you come here, you finna, you finna be on this pedestal, you know, you finna be the celebrity or, you know, the celebrity uh, treatment. You finna get this red carpet treatment. That's true. But also just know, you know, on the other side of the, uh, of the spectrum, connivance can be there. You see what I mean? Uh, people trying to finesse you. You understand me? So, so I just want to say that to you brothers and, uh, to put an awareness out there, but I appreciate if y'all brother like, subscribe, share this video so it can hit with the algorithm so I can keep more videos to come. All right, peace out.